Assume you have 20 sheets in your workbook. Now you need to search for data in all those sheets relevant to a keyword. It will be very time consuming and tiresome to do this manually. Fortunately, you can create a search box for your workbook to search through all sheets. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abra Rafid, and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a search box for multiple sheets in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Let's say I have data on some people in multiple sheets. You can see there are data in Dataset 1 and Dataset 2 worksheets. I have some information like their names, apartment name, street addresses, etc. Now, I'll use this data for demonstration. I'll start by using the conditional formatting feature of Excel. First, I created a range to input the search value. Here, I'll input the search value in the B4 cell. Now, go to the Dataset 1 worksheet, select the B5 to F23 range, then go to the Home tab, click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down icon, and select New Rule. The New Formatting Rule dialog box will appear. Here, select Use a formula to determine which cells to format as the rule type. And in the Format values where this formula is true box, I'll type down my formula. Equal to, here, I'll use the search function. As the find text argument, I'll select cell B4 from the conditional worksheet. Insert a comma, again return to the dataset 1 worksheet and as the within text argument, I'll insert cell B5 and cell C5 and cell D5 and cell E5 and cell F5. Close the parenthesis. Now, let's remove the dollar sign from the row number of each cell reference of dataset 1 worksheet. Otherwise, the conditional formatting cannot be applied in the rows below row 5. So, let's remove them. This formula checks whether the text in cell B4 in the conditional worksheet is found within the combined text values of cell B5, C5, D5, E5, and A5 of the dataset 1 worksheet. Next, click on the Format button. It will open the Format Cells dialog box. Go to the Fill tab and choose a fill color to highlight the cells. Here, I am selecting the yellow color. You can see a sample of this color. Then, click OK. Again, click OK to close the new formatting rule dialog box. Don't worry, all rows are highlighted because we haven't input any value in cell B4 in the conditional sheet. It will be OK. After that, apply the same formatting to the data ranges in other sheets by following the same procedure. Now, I'll do it in dataset 2 worksheet. Now, Go to the conditional sheet and enter a keyword in cell B4. Let's write Smith into it and hit enter. Now go to the dataset 1 sheet and see the results. Who have Smith in their names are highlighted. Dataset 2 worksheets is also showing the same result. Now, you might be thinking about getting this highlighted data in the same sheet while you search for your keyword. Obviously, you can do that with the help of VBA. Here, I'll input the search value in cell B5 and in cell C5, I'll select the search type. First, I have to enlist the search types into cell C5. Let's do this. First, select cell C5, go to the Data tab. In the Data Tools section, click on Data Validation option. In the Data Validation dialog box, in the Allow box, click on the drop-down arrow and select List. In the Source box, I'll type Case Sensitive. Place a comma and Case Insensitive. Click OK. Now, you can see a drop-down arrow beside cell C5. If you click on this icon, you can see these two options. Here, you can select any one of these two options. Here are two terms, case sensitive and case insensitive. Case sensitive means that the search you are performing will consider uppercase and lowercase characters as different. So, capital A and small a would be treated as distinct. As example, if you want to search for David, which has capital D as the first letter, but in the search box, you are typing David, which has lowercase d, cannot show the search results. But in case of case insensitive, the search is not sensitive to the case of characters. So, capital A and small a would be treated as the same. Now, let's delete this for this time. To use VBA, you have to enable the developer tab in the ribbon. Right click on any tab on the ribbon, 
and select customize the ribbon option in the excel options window check the box of developer option and click ok hence the developer tab is now visible go to the developer tab in the code group of commands select visual basic it will open the microsoft visual basic for applications window alternatively you can press alt plus f11 to open the vvi window from the insert tab select module you can see a code module is inserted the advantage of inserting the code into the module is that you can run this macro in each sheet of this workbook now i'll paste my vvi code into the module you will find the code from the article link in the description box here it's the name of the sub procedure search multiple sheets and here I'm declaring multiple variables and setting their initial values. It specifies the main worksheet where I want to paste the search results. In this case, the name of this worksheet is VVA. It specifies the cell where I want to input the value I'm searching for. In this case, it's cell B5. Here I will input my search value. This specifies the cell where I choose the search type. In this case, it's cell C5. It specifies the cell where I want to paste the search results. Here it's cell B9. So the result will start showing from cell B9 in the VBA worksheet. It's an array containing the names of sheets to search through. It's dataset 1 and dataset 2 worksheet. An array specifying the ranges within each sheet where I want to perform the search. You have to change these values according to your worksheet, dataset and requirements. And this is a boolean variable indicating whether you want to copy formatting along with the values. Here, I'm determining the last used row and column in the paste area on the main sheet, which is the active sheet VVA. Then, I created a range object called used range based on the last used cell. And then, clears its contents and formats to prepare for the search results. This reads the value to search for from the specified cell B5 and stores it in the value1 variable. It initializes a counter variable count to minus 1. It checks the search type specified in cell C5 and set the case sensitive variable based on the user's choice. If the value in cell C5 is case sensitive, then it sets the case sensitive variable to true. Otherwise, it will set the case sensitive variable to false. If no valid search type is chosen, a message box will appear telling that choose a search type and the code exits. This line starts a loop that goes through a list of sheet names stored in the searched sheets array. L bound and U bounds are functions that determine the lower and upper bounds of an array respectively. So, this loop will go through all the sheet names in searched sheets which are dataset 1 and dataset 2 worksheets. Here, I am setting the RNG variable to represent a specific range within the current sheet. This line defines the range in which you will be searching for a value. These two nested loops are used to go through all the rows and columns within the RNG range I defined earlier. This way it will check every cell in the specified range. This line sets value 2 to the value contained in the current cell within the RNG range. It's basically taking one cell at a time to compare its value with value 1. Here I'm calling a function named partial match and passing in value 1, value 2 and case sensitive as parameters. This function is likely responsible for comparing the values for a partial match and the case sensitive parameter determines whether the comparison should be sensitive to the latter case. If a partial match is found, it increases the count variable by 1. This variable keeps track of how many matches have been found. Then it's copying the entire row where the partial match was found. Then, this line sets the paste range to a specific cell in the main sheet where I want to paste the matched row. The count variable is used to determine the row where the data should be pasted. Depending on the value of copy format, you decide whether to paste both values or formatting or just the values into the paste range cell. It ensures that the Excel copy paste mode is turned off after the code execution. And this line indicates the end of this sub procedure. This is the partial match function which I mentioned earlier. This function takes three arguments, value 1, value 2 and case sensitive. Value 1 is the text you want to find within value 2 and case sensitive is a flag to determine whether the comparison should be case sensitive or not. It initializes a variable matched to false. This variable will be used to keep track of whether a partial match is found. This starts a loop that goes through each character in value 2. 
it uses the len function to determine the length of value 2 and then loops from the first character to the last character. Inside the loop, there is an if statement that checks whether the comparison should be case sensitive or not. If case sensitive is true, it compares a portion of value 2 with the same length as value 1 to the value 1 variable. If they match, it sets matched to true and exits the loop. If case sensitive is false, it converts both value 2 and value 1 to lowercase using the lcase function. Then it compares a portion of the lowercase value 2 to the lowercase value 1. If they match, it sets matched to true and exits the loop. This assigns the value of the matched variable the partial match function, effectively returning true if a partial match is found and false if not. Now, let's close the VB editor and go back to the VBA worksheet. Now I'll insert a rectangle. So go to the insert tab, click on illustrations, shapes, select rectangle. Click on the mouse and drag it to the end of column C. Now I'll change the fill color. In the shape style section, click on this drop down icon and select this option, subtle effect, blue accent 5. Now I'll type search inside the rectangle. Go to the home tab, make it middle aligned and center aligned. Now it looks like a button. At this time, right click on the rectangular box. From the context menu, select assign macro option. Then select the macro name and click OK. The macro is now assigned to this button. Next, type the search keyword in cell B5. Here I'll write Smith and select case insensitive as the search type. Then click on the search button. After that, you will see all the relevant results that were highlighted in the earlier method are listed here. All the rows associated with the name Smith is now visible in the VBA worksheet. Let's say if I change the search type to case sensitive, then what happens? Click on search. See, the result is empty because there is no Smith with a lowercase s in the dataset 1 and dataset 2 worksheet. If I change the s to uppercase and then click on search, now all the results are showing like before. In this tutorial, I have shown two methods to create a search box for multiple sheets in Excel. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your Excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.